Let's work with this problem on the board. It says uh, the ratios of intensities of two waves is 1 is to 9. And if these waves freeze in difference, what will be the ratios of maximum and minimum intensities? So first, we understand what exactly is interfering, right? So if all I have two waves, and this is a small explanation, if I have two waves which interfere like this, and uh, let's say the sub second wave which interferes in the same phase, in the sense this guy is going up and this guy is going, they fall in the face, right? And this is what is called constructive interference. And the resultant wave would be, let me draw it here. The resultant wave would be somewhere here and it will be a bigger wave with a bigger amplitude. Okay, I can call this guy as amplitude. Now I know if at all this is A and this is B, this length is A and B, this would be definitely A plus B if at all, if it is constructively interfering. This is the whole idea of interference. And if at all I have a wave which interferes like this, okay, that's the first wave. And the second wave, let's say it starts from here. It starts from here. Okay, and see, I can see that, in fact, the energy here is pushing the particle down and the energy here is pushing the particle up. And these two guys are opposing. And the resultant of these two would be basically nothing, all right? If at all these two are same, if it is A and B, and if it's A is equal to B, then you get a zero wave. And if A is more than B, let's say if A is 10 and B is uh, 8, then A minus B, you'll get 2. You'll get a small wave here, okay, which is a destructive wave with the amplitude of 2, right? And if A is 10 and B is also 10, I'll get A minus B, that is 10 minus 10, that is 0, then I'll get nothing. So that's called as destructive interference. I hope you understand this. In a constructive is when, when they fall in phase and destructive is when they fall out of phase, okay? Now let's say, come back to this problem and see. Uh, Any time the formula of intensity, intensity is the brightness of the wave, is given with that formula, that is I is proportional to A squared. In this case, where amplitude is this, all right? In this case, I is proportional to B squared. And in this case, I would be proportional to A plus B whole squared. And in this case, I would be proportional to A minus B whole squared. Okay, now we understand what exactly is this formula. And now we can try doing this problem. All right. So let me go back to the problem. Keep this in mind. This was a little theory to understand the problem and work with. We understood what exactly the problem uh, is asking us to uh, work, right? Right. <clears throat> so far, we understood how exactly the problem is made and what is expected from this question. Now, let's see how to solve this guy. And I see that the ratios of intensities of two waves, let's say the first wave and the second wave. Let me draw the waves once again. There's the first wave and the second wave. Okay, I say this guy is A and this guy is B. So I can say the intensities of these two guys are like I squared is proportional to A squared and I squared is proportional to B squared. And uh, the ratios of the intensities means I should divide these two guys. That is I squared by I2 squared. Let's say I1 and I2. I2 squared is, uh, let's say if I equate this, I'll get what? I squared is equal to some K into A squared and the same case K and B squared, when I actually divide them, K into A squared by K and B squared, K and K would cancel up to give you I squared by I2 squared, it's equal to A squared by B squared, that's what happens, okay? Now, he says the ratios of intensities in the ratio one is to nine, so this guy is like one by nine is A squared by B squared, this is what I have. All right, if I solve this, if I solve this, I'll get what? Uh, 1 by 9 is equal to uh, a squared by b squared. Take square on both the sides. You will get uh, 1 by 3 is equal to a by b. Cross multiply this and b is equal to 3a. Okay, this is one of the relation I would look for. I'll tell you how it is and why I'm looking for this. Simply because he says, find the, uh, what will be the maximum, uh, what will be the ratio of maximum and minimum intensity. So that's my question. I'll tell you why I did this. See. 
when i'm talking about uh, the ratio of maximum intensity he's he's actually asking about if all these two guys interfere constructively i would be equal to or proportional to what a plus b whole square it means i need a and b right and minimum means what if at all they interfere in this way that they are destructively interfering then the intensity here will be we just did this the starting the problem will be a minus b whole square so it means i need the a and b right so i need at least a relation between b and a and we'll understand this a little later once we go with this what is the question asking you is this what will be the ratio of maximum and uh, minimum intensity so it means let's say this guy is i max this guy is i min so he wants i max by i minimum and uh, if i remove the proportional sign i'll get a plus b whole squared by a minus b whole squared okay this is what is looking for okay so now this is the ratio is looking for for this i need to know what is a and b a and b are not given to me but i can find these values with connection between a and b so let me solve this problem keep this in mind what i just did and uh, this is what i'm looking for i hope you understand what the problem asks so i max by i minimum is what i'm looking for that is a plus b and i see that b is 3a can i write the value of b as 3a so a plus 3a uh, divided by a minus 3a okay and the whole squared the whole squared can go like that this can be 4a by minus 2a the whole squared and uh, i can see that 2 and a cancels off minus 2 is what i have minus 2 squared is nothing but 4 okay that's why i had a connection between b and a so that a and a here would cancel out and what i get is only a number that is 4 by 1 i can write so i max by i minimum is given by 4 is to 1 so that's that's your ratio i can write this in nothing but 4 is to 1 that's your answer try to understand what exactly the question asks and see how you can connect to the basic knowledge and the formula knowledge you have about this particular chapter and that's all numericals are very easy you should know what the question is asking and how you can connect and a couple of uh, mathematical tricks where you can actually have relation between a and b which is not given to you so that here in this case i can cancel them out all right